Hey y'all, good morning. Um, I said I was going to make, you know, videos and I'm back at it again. So, last night, if you saw my Facebook post, last night I was a part of Teen No Sleep. And, um, Teen No Sleep is actually, like, I guess, cool for entrepreneurs that are working on their dream. To where, like, they say you're, you have a dream, but your dream if it's if you're like really excited and committed to it your dream keeps you from sleeping so you're either up working on your dream or you're up thinking about it but you're actively in like creation mode of formulating whatever it is that you're working on so this morning i actually like woke up afraid i got a few hours sleep and i was kind of like up and down all night and I knew I had to get up today to go back on a plantation so um, you know but when I woke up I had like this thought like what if it doesn't work right and so then I had to like I, I do this like dialogue with myself and I guess a lot of people do that too but the thing is it's like okay um, you know well what are you afraid of so, you know, I'm afraid of like, what if it doesn't work? And afraid of, you know, looking stupid. And uh, just, you know, you, you know how like when you start something that, that fear kicks in. And they say like a lot of people, they fail at business because they don't even start. Like they either let somebody talk them out of it or they get scared and they just decide to stay on a plantation so um you know and and that's a real thing so i was like okay so i had to go through the whole thing processing it all and but the thing that i was most afraid of is if i didn't do it like if i didn't start so and i know like that's why a lot of businesses fail and they fail like within the first year the thing is like you can you can't stop like you have to keep going you have to keep doing it and doing it and doing it until it works so the thing is like even like with, with mozo i still have mozo on the table mozo is still in effect people wouldn't know it but at one time mozo was doing pretty good and then some things started to creep in and some things started to take over and at the time i wasn't working but i knew if i went back to work that was going to be like the thing that killed it because I was going to get distracted. That's why I said in the last video, like every time I try to get off the plantation, it brings me right back. It's because, yeah, you need a livelihood. You need to make money. You need to have money coming in so you can support your family. But the thing is, when I thought about it, what scared me the most, it wasn't even so much about what people would say and what people would think if I didn't feel. Because I've tried things like all throughout the years and people can always agree with the safety factor which is the plantation because they could understand it they could understand a job but the thing that got me was having someone else be in control of your your livelihood and no matter how good of a job you do at some point they could say you know what we're gonna lay you off we don't have work for you we don't have this and then you have to start all over so it was just like okay um somebody else is in control of my life so, you know, I was thinking, I was like, okay, you had to dream and you had to dream big and you had to believe in yourself. Like, most of all, despite what anybody else says, despite what anybody tells you, again, I am a firm believer in not taking advice of others, especially if you don't see how they produce fruit, right? Now, if they're balling in their success, you ask them, how did they become successful? But if they're not, they're just regular Joe Smo like you, like start to surround yourself with people that are not so negative but the people that are like sure why not you say you know what i want to start a business and they're like cheering you on saying sure why not like surround yourself with the why not crowd right because the thing is what do you have to lose right except for you know not trying and then you'll never know what it would what it could be so you know i'm i'm sitting here and i'm like okay keep going put one foot in front of the other and don't stop you know but i think we all have fear we we i think we're a society that we constantly live in fear the fear of 
what if and most of the time what if don't eat it doesn't even happen like what we're afraid of it never happens but you know i had a patient one time and he was like um nurse he was like i came in he was like nurse nurse he was like tell me something nobody's telling me he was like tell me and he was like am i gonna die and i looked him straight in the face and i was like yes and he got real scared and he was like i'm gonna die and i was like yes eventually we all die but the thing that i noticed inside of that conversation in the moment was he was so focused on dying that he wasn't living so the thing is it's like sometimes we're focused on the wrong stuff like we need to focus on living how to have a fulfilled life that you love you know and, and you constantly like i always say we're constantly giving our time away my dream is to get my time back because I'm tired of, oh, I can't go to the gym because I don't have any time. I can't eat right because I don't have any time. I don't do this because I don't have any time. And then I start to notice that I'm giving my life away. I'm constantly ne neglecting myself and my family. And the thing is, that's the stuff that makes me happy. It's being able to spend time with my children, do the things that I want to do. Right? So, you know, it's just like, don't be afraid. And when I talk to you, I'm talking to myself. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to, to do the things that you want to do in life. And don't let anybody talk you out of it. I'm going to wrap it up because I got to get on a plantation until I get off. But watch me work. If you want to um, follow me, what I'm going to eventually do is I'm going to start. I was thinking about this. I'm going to start a group called um, Making Money with Kim. right? And Making Money with Kim is simply that right um ways to make money ways for all of us to get off the plantation if you're on it right and um I i'm kind of like leery about like the promotion i want it to be more not so much of like we're selling you things in a group but actually showing you an opportunity but what i'm afraid of is sometimes people get coming to these groups and they spam the shit out of you like they just spam you and then it's annoying and then I got to go through and delete stuff and then people think I'm hating and all that but I'm like just saying be responsible like let's all take care of each other let's all support one another let's all love each other because we're all in this together right we're all in this together so the thing is watch out for it join it support it be there it's going to be called making money with Kim and um, you know we're, we're out here and we're getting it in and we're producing things for our community because that's one of the other things. You look at these other communities, they're supporting each other, they're buying within each other, and that's why they have power, right? That's why the police ain't going in there roughing them up and beating them up, right? Because they have economic power. They have pull. They put their money together, and they're able to get things done. I, I don't even see the sense, like, in, in dealing with the politics. If you don't have the money to back it up, you got to pay to play, like, wherever it is. So... Um, and, and that's in business. That's everywhere. You got to pay to play. I'm going to wrap this video up because eight minutes and y'all got a, a short attention span, I know. All right. So um, until next time, uh, check out Kim Tales. Learn from my mistakes. And I'll, I'll see you next time and I'll update you on what's going on. All right. Peace.